Okay, second graders, I'm back, and I have on the screen here a common stonefly. This is a baby stonefly. It's a big picture of one, um, and when you find them in the water, they're much, much smaller than this, sort of the size that you'd expect an insect to be. So I'm using the stonefly as kind of a typical insect that you will find in the water around here, and I wanted to go through the parts of this insect. So first of all, let's see if I can use my arrow here. We've got the head, as you can see here at the top. The middle part is called a thorax, and it starts here and goes all the way down here. So the thorax, in this case, has several parts. And then we've got the abdomen that starts here and goes all the way down here, again, with several parts. Going back to the top, you can see long antenna on this thing. It has a couple of mouth parts here. And then eyes on the sides of the head. The thorax is interesting because there tend to be a lot of things connected to the thorax. In this case, we have six jointed legs. You can see they have joints like here's the elbow and here's the wrist. And this one has two hooks on the ends of each leg. So insects have six legs, which you may have learned before. And um, with aquatic insects, usually we see the six legs in the baby form. Sometimes we don't see the six legs until they get to be adults. Uh, also on the thorax, we have two pairs of baby wings because this thing eventually will be an adult that flies away. So these wing pads, which is what they're called, are baby wings that are just sort of the beginnings of a big set of wings that will allow it to fly. When it's in the water, of course, it doesn't fly. Okay, and then the abdomen with many segments. And you can see here two tails on the stonefly. Stoneflies are really interesting to identify because they have two of a lot of stuff. They have two hooks on the ends of the legs, two pairs of wing pads, here's one pair, here's another pair, and two tails. You can also see little fringes here and there, right in here, 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 around here, and all of these are gills. Like fish have gills, many aquatic insects have gills as well, and it allows them to breathe in the water. So if you take them out of the water and put them in the air, they can't breathe, just like a fish can't breathe out of water. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the next segment. I'll be right back. 